Hi everyone. Hardly anyone would deny that man is the most powerful creature on this planet. We learned how to create alternative energy sources, invented the internet, created high-tech robots and went to space many times. And yet there's something that human power cannot contend with. And this, of course, is nature. It stands above all of us. Age or sickness have no power over it. It was on the planet long before the dawn of man and will persevere when humanity is long gone. Every day, in some subtle way, it defeats people. And today, you'll see how it does it with your own eyes. Let's get it on. To begin with, let's have a look at this bicycle, which clearly succumbed to the power of nature. Judging by the way it looks, it was created at the beginning of the last century. When you look at it, you certainly have a few questions. Who left it in the forest? Why is it so tall? Almost two meters off the ground. Tire still spins. And finally, how did the bike end up inside of a tree trunk? No one can give an exact answer to that last question. In any case, the bicycle has become a bit of a local attraction. It's located in the US in Washington, Vashon Island near Seattle. Both tourists and fans of bicycles stop here to make a couple of photos. Locals say that in the 50s, a bicycle was abandoned here by someone. Back then, the tree was younger and, of course, smaller. Years passed, the trunk became wider and stronger until, in the end, it raised the bicycle to a height. And as you can see, the tree is absolutely healthy. The bicycle did not hinder its growth. Once there was a common sugar refining factory in eastern China, in a province called Fujian. At some point, people abandoned this place though. No one could think that it would eventually be reclaimed by nature. In our opinion, this is one of the most unusual abandoned factories in the world. Banyan trees sprout from disused 30 meter chimney tops. Of course, no one put them in the pipes on purpose. That's simply impossible. The most plausible theory is this. Several seeds were dropped there by the birds flying above. And well, well, you know the rest. It's amazing how trees can literally grow anywhere. In order to see this amazing miracle of nature with your own eyes, you have to use a special diving suit, a mask and an air balloon. Because Gruner Sea, which means the Green Lake, is hiding an entire underwater world underneath the surface. However, not the one we expect. There are no algae, coral or fish. The green waters of the lake hide our human world with roads, lawns and even benches. This fascinating place is located in Austria, in the village of Tragus. The lake is surrounded by mountains and forests from all sides. It got its name because the color of the water here is emerald green. The lake is filled with water coming from the melted mountain snow. In winter, the lake has a shallow depth of only one to two meters. People use the area around it as a park. However, as soon as the weather gets warmer, the lake is filled with water and the depth increases by 10 meters. The park goes completely completely underwater, and we bet that this is the most unusual landscape that you've seen lately. Take a look at this unusual tree. A sign nailed over the tunnel reads, Chandelier Tree. This tree is located in the USA, in the state of California. Near the small town of Leggett, there's a huge number of redwood trees. These amazing trees live for thousands of years, grow several meters in diameter, and reach almost 100 meters in height. The Chandelier Tree is one of these amazing trees. Around the 1930s, a tunnel was cut right inside the trunk to make a car tunnel. Today, Today, this place is marked on the map. People come here to take photos. However, the most unusual thing about this is that the tree is still alive. It doesn't seem to be bothered by the people and the cars down there, or by a huge hole that has been made in it. A house on the coast is probably everyone's dream. Just imagine the sounds of the waves, humid air, screams of seabirds, an incredible view from the window, and a pile of ice covering everything outside the house. Apologies for ruining that perfect image, but life on the coast may be like this. The thing is, some really strong gusts of wind may sometimes occur near the water. They're powerful enough to create huge waves that spill onto the shore and cover everything around.
If this happens in winter at extremely low temperatures, people have a chance to witness a very unusual phenomenon. The air is so cold that the water just freezes in an instant. This happens quite often too, and it proves how dangerous and unfriendly nature can be. The houses you see are located in New York State on the shores of Lake Ontario near Rochester. This incident occurred in 2017. The car got encased in ice near Lake Erie, New York. People working in a pawn shop know the cost of everything. However, the thing that you see on the screen has become an exception. It's that unique. This is a one-of-a-kind gun that somehow got stuck in a tree. Oh. <laughs> Wow. How do you determine the price of a thing if it's the only one of its kind? Good question, but not the only one we have. Surely you're curious how a gun ended up in a tree. We too would also love to know that, because this is the story that, unfortunately, still remains a mystery. We'll tell you though what we know for certain. This is a Remington gun, manufactured somewhere from 1862 to 1875. At that time, this model was a competitor to the famous Colt gun. It's perhaps the most popular weapon in America during the Civil War too. In some incredible way, this particular gun ended up in a tree, and some talented person made it into a kind of casket. The weapon is actually still loaded. The tip of the cleaning rod sticks out of the barrel too. There are definitely more questions than answers in this story. The New World Mall was built in Bangkok around the 80s. Back then, the building had dozens or even hundreds of people, and no one could even imagine how everything would change in only 20 years. In 1997, the 11-story building was closed, as it turned out that the construction company didn't comply with all the necessary codes. In 1999, there was a fire, and the roof of the building was destroyed completely. Naturally, water started leaking into the building through a hole in the ceiling. And after a while, this turned into a real issue. The locals realized that water attracted mosquitoes and midges. The solution was found almost immediately, though, to put freshwater tilapia into the waters of the fish mall. Apparently, rusty escalators and falling tiles didn't bother the fish because they began to multiply, successfully eating all the mosquitoes and claiming the shopping center for themselves. Not all cars that have served their time are sent straight for recycling. Particularly lucky ones go here in Old Car City in White, Georgia. Here, they are turned into something like a museum exhibit and become one with the surrounding nature. We could come up with a beautiful and exciting story and tell you that all these cars ended up here by pure accident, but actually the owner of the city of old machines found and brought them all here. From the very beginning, the area was completely clean, but Walter Dean Lewis had a goal in mind. He wanted to see what would happen if nature was allowed to run its course. Today, Old Car City is one of the largest junkyards in the world. You can find 4,500 cars on the area of about 14 hectares. Walter started bringing them here about 50 years ago. The ruins of the Ta Prom Temple in Cambodia are living proof of how destructive nature can be. This monumental building was completed in 1186. For centuries, it has fascinated the minds of people with amazing statues and spacious squares. The jungles, however, didn't leave the building untouched. Year after year, they transformed the temple, changed the architecture, and in the end, turning it into ruins. Old buildings are clamped by the roots of trees in a vice-like grip. To find this amazing phenomenon created by nature, you have to go to Ukraine. The Tunnel of Love is a natural monument, which is located near the village of Klavan. Bushes and trees here intertwine with each other, forming a kind of tunnel around the railways. The tunnel is three to five kilometers in length, and yet it doesn't interfere with the movement of an industrial train, which passes through it three times a day. People believe that if lovers make a wish and go through the tunnel, then it will certainly come true. And also, couples plant flowers here as a symbol of their love. 
When the war is finally over, the battles subside and the victorious songs are sung, only memory remains. Time passes and the memories are fading. The only witness to the terrible events is nature, which, decades later, still bear the scars of war. All of these scars can be seen in these photos taken in the Russian forests. Rifles, artillery shells, shovels, grenades and guns. They are the only reminder of the horrors that happened here during the war. Dozens of years ago, when these trees were only small seedlings. All kinds of battle gear was dropped in the heat of battle near them. Years passed, the trees grew, swallowing up weapons and equipment. Today, this calm and beautiful forest is a real silent monument. It's also a sort of deadly exhibition, because it's full of unexploded bombs and grenades. Hey, stop being lazy, it's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Incredible facts from the past, the present, and even the future. The power of nature and wild animals, amazing facts and unsolved mysteries. You'll find all this and much more here. Subscribe now, you won't regret it.